Welcome to another episode of Marathon Training in Kenya with Luis Horta. Today we're in beautiful Kamarini Track in Iten, Kenya for the November camp, the Running Mecca camp. So this year we had seven campers from different countries. We had some people from Europe, some people from the States, and it was a beautiful, amazing, another great and successful camp. For me, this is a dream come true. I'm very happy to have people from all over the world come here and experience Kenya the way I experience it, with my friends, with my pacers, with my team. And so the camp started with easy runs. We worked a lot on drills, strides, training in the morning, training in the afternoon, but experiencing Kenya and Iten every day. So we went to the market, to the local market on Saturday, where my campers got to see how people here in Kenya buy every, like everything that you need for the house, clothing, food, you can find anything at the market. Very different to the markets that we're used to, so it's something that I wanted them to see and check out and see how people here in Kenya do it. One of the days was the safari at Nakuru National Park. Nakuru is amazing, literally it has every animal that you can imagine. They got to see lions, uh, zebras, giraffes, hippos, and a lot more. And it's a unique experience. So you come here to do a running camp, but at the same time you get an experience as cool as going to a safari. Doesn't get any better than that. Nakuru is a city that is a couple hours from Iten. So it's beautiful for them to see, to experience, and get not just the running experience, but also something else, something cool and unique like a safari. Other things that they did were, we went to the uh, Kesup waterfalls. The waterfalls are amazing. They have so much water right now because we're in the middle of winter here, rainy season. So it was pretty cool and unique to see. There's a hike that you need to do that it's like a 20 minute hike, which we did after a long run. So everybody was very tired, but it was very, very fun. We got to take some pictures, some videos, and that was really cool. We do a motorcycle tour, which is probably my favorite tour of the camp. We basically go from Iten down to Tambach, which is a 30 minute bike ride. And we get to see everything uh, from Iten down to Tambach, the towns, the people get to say hi and be on the motorcycles is pretty cool. And then we do the waterfalls hike and then we come back to uh, Iten. Everything with a morning run and an afternoon run. So it's pretty cool and pretty unique. Just finished a run here in Kenya and I'm showing the ketone IQ to the guys. They seem to like it a lot. Uh, I told them that the taste at first is weird, but then it gets better, and I think they agree with it. Um, Ketone IQ is something that I've been trying for the past six months now, and I really like it. I do think it helps me both physically and mentally, so I've been using it before, during, and after my runs. If you want to check it out, I have a 30% discount code. Just click the link below and check it out. Let me know if you like it. I highly recommend it. Ketone IQ. For this camp, we did something unique and different that I haven't done before. We went to the Rimoy Game Reserve, which is an elephant park. It's super cool because you have to search for the elephants. It was super cool, super unique, and everybody was very happy to do that. It's only one hour away from Iten, so we went there, got to see the ele elephants, and came back. So that way it doesn't disrupt training that much. You train in the morning, train in the afternoon, and in the middle, do an, a, a cool activity. So this was the 2023 camp recap, the second camp of the year. It was as good as the first one, and I've been doing these camps for, I wanna say three years now, with my pacers that have been giving me company and helping me with the campers, and it's been amazing. They get to share and experience how these guys train here, how they live here, and how they are training every day to try to get the opportunity to go and race in Europe or, or in the States. So it's pretty cool. And I'm very happy that people came and people saw, and then they go home happy, healthy, and with a beautiful experience. Thank you for watching another episode of Marathon Training in Kenya with Luis Horta. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, click the subscribe button so you get a notification every time a video is out. And if you wanna come to Kenya with me, I'll have another camp 
in March, April of next year. So send me a message, send me an email, and I'll respond and let's get it, let's get it done. Come to Kenya with us, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a life-changing experience, I promise. Thank you so much for watching, and if you need anything, just let me know.